Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were expanding our empire slowly but surely. And now we've come across an alien mural. While conducting surface scans of Hirm? Hirma? Hirma? I guess we could call it Hirma. Science Officer Vivian Domandi. Dodamani, rather. Dodamani. I... Brain. <laughs> Didn't want to work there. And the crew of the ISS Wayfarer discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the moon, and exactly how this mural came to be here is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. New sit rep. To me. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but first I have to devote them to that, which means I need to control them. Uh, science ship is on. There we go. And we'll research the project and have them continue survey. There, 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 and there. Okay. All right. They'll work on that. Give me just a moment. My throat needs a little bit of clearing. Throat didn't start acting up until I hit the record button. Of oh, fucking course. Alrighty. We continue onward. And so far so good. Just need to wait for everything to fall into place. Just need to turn that off. And look at planets. Let's see. Oh, I could do these. I could do them right now, in fact. Get them all cleared up and good. Hell yeah. More districts for me to build on later, too. Can't complain about that. And I might as well build one of these. Just to get it done and out of the way. Because I will need it soon. <laughs> Very soon. Alright. Special project complete. Ooh. Okay. Well, I just noticed my microphone cord is where my armrest is. So you could probably hear me moving it around. I apologize. <laughs> Alright. Science Officer Vivian... Rather, Vivian Dodomani has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Hirma 7A. Uh, that's a moon. Okay. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. Wow. Long-ass time. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we have yet to discover. Or rather, yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation efforts. Sounds good to Science me. Division reports a new breakthrough. And a breakthrough to boot. Fuck yeah. Biodiversity Studies. Studying the different forms of life that appear on our world helps us better understand ourselves and the life that surrounds us. Fair enough. What's next? I want to say eco-simulation purely because food is starting to get a little bit uh, low in how much I'm gaining and the 20% would be nice. Even though genome mapping would get us further down the path of uh, evolutionary uh, shenanigans, which is the one I prefer. Mm, let's go eco simulation. Why not? Just because it'll help in the short term. There we go. Had a little bit of tea. Trying to calm my throat down a little bit. 
Okay. Really, right now, all we can do is wait. Construction complete. Yeah, well, that's good. But I have to clear my throat again. Give me just a moment. Jesus, a couple hours of singing sea shanties, and then your throat decides it just wants to die. God damn, all right. Is that planet the one that is good? No, it's an alpine world. It's not good enough for me. God damn it. All right, well. We'll find one that's good soon enough, I'm sure. I just noticed we're in a nebula. That is very useful defensively. Because then, uh, coming in, most, uh, most, uh, attacking ships won't be able to, uh, see my own defense. That's good for me. I like that. Hmm. Traditions! Fuck yeah. Uh, let's add that to... Reducing the upkeep for populations doing research. I'll do that. That'll make it easier on me in the long run. There we go. Mainly helps Anomaly with the consumer, found. Uh, consumer goods part, but it won't last for long. Impressive structures litter a small area of the surface on Hirma 6A. Fucking happen to translate goddamn Roman numerals in my head. That's something I'm not used to doing. Practically begging for some archaeological work. There we go. Something to do. Sounds like a plan to me. And soon I will have a lot of housing, which is good for me. Oops. I didn't realize I had it paused. My bad. <laughs> that is absolutely my bad. Alright. Um, I might have to build another civilian industries soon. Very soon. William Stark is leveled up. Okay. Fair enough. Good for him. And how's our fleet looking? What do we got on that? Oh, it's already uh, as far up as I'm willing to push it. Oh. Abandoned amusement park. The structures on Hirma 6A are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Vivan Dodamani notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that... To the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a this might have been a cutting edge sensor array, or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us felons, it looks felons, it looks I almost said felons, that's not good. Felons, it looks more like a place where you would take your young and would let them amuse themselves. Fair enough. Yeah, that's about as far as I'm gonna do anything with it when it comes to the fleet. That's good. System reconnaissance completed. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Might as well keep this open and that open. It is doing a long way around. Honestly. Honestly. See what I got in regards to scientists. Got a roamer who's quite a bit older. But an adaptable Yu Cheng. Let's bring them on board and then build a uh, new science ship. There we go. Having three of them won't hurt, I don't think. Just have them go in all directions. Sounds like a plan to me.
Construction complete. Ha ha. And we bring on Yu Cheng and Science Division you reports take a new breakthrough. This direction. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, first, I want to plot out Yu Cheng's course here. All right, zero G refineries. Hell yeah! The addition of internal refineries on mining stations will substantially increase mineral production. Fuck yeah, good shit. Um, long range mineral scanners. Eh, it'll be good in a bit. Afterburners, powered exoskeletons. That will take us further down the robotic path. I don't really need afterburners. That won't be a thing I need for a long time. Very long time. Uh, powered exoskeletons would increase the amount of minerals I'm bringing in and increase army damage. I mean, fuck. I mean, if, if it helps increase the army damage on top of everything. I don't see too many downsides. Let's go with it. All right. And just to look at construction oh, complete. It also helps that uh, my scientist Anit Jamal Tarani is uh, skilled with industry related research, so it goes quicker. I'll take it. What do we have up next for scientists? Not a lot of options already. Okay. In that case. Oh, wait. Possible good world. Oh. System oh. reconnaissance completed. Did I not? Oh, that's what I did. I'm an idiot. I goofed that up. That's what I did. <laughs> Oops. I hit a wrong button. Make sure that I did that right. There we go, there we go. Ancient debris from some kind of massive Cybrex refinery complex has been found in orbit around the gas giant Regor 5. Lingering energy traces suggest that it was destroyed by some kind of antimatter weapon. Or rather, antimatter. Yeesh. New sit rep. Let's look into that. First, I want to set this on the right course. System reconnaissance completed. Anomaly okay. found. Repeated scans of Regor 7's surface gives inconsistent energy, or rather sensor readings. Blah, blah, blah. Almost as if the planet itself was in a constant state of upheaval. I think I know what that would be. And I kind of want in on that. All right. Fair enough. We'll let them complete that. Oops, I just noticed that there's something that we did. Automated exploration protocols. Okay. So I don't need to deal with that anymore. <laughs> cool. An advanced AI will aid science officers in their task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no Blorg has gone before. We're not Blorgs, but okay. The science ship will be able to explore the galaxy with help from an AI. Cool. Administrative AI for research, too. Organize organizational circuitry rerouting academic fervor. I like that idea. I forgot to read some of the stuff on this as well. My bad. Farming techniques can be further refined through sophisticated computer simulations of different environments and weather patterns. This allows for more predictable crop yields. And it also gives me farming subsidies. This edict provides aggressive economic stimulus for positive, quantifiable impacts on food production. Fuck yeah. Do that. Powered exoskeletons. Wearing a powered exoskeleton suit augments the user's strength and speed. The military applications are obvious, but will also increase labor efficiency. I'll take it. I will take it. And I'll let that do that. And actually, you know what? I will set this one on that. 
and this one on that. And I'll wait until the other science ship is done before I set it on anything. There we go. Maybe I can set it while it's still investigating. Yeah, I can. Cool. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> Just in case. All right. Anomaly found. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that has a strong star. Oh, that is a continental world. Fuck yeah. And it has 18 Science division district slots. Reports a new breakthrough. Hell yeah. Oh, there's no rare planetary features, though. That's fine. That's fine. It's milk toast, but it's still better than nothing. Let's look at the districts. Um, impassable mountains, active volcano, dense jungle, and toxic kelp. But once those are all cleared, we're good to uh, build as many districts as we want. Hell yeah. Good. Eco simulation. There it is. So, let's go with... Um, I don't want to do hydroponics farming. I don't need it. Um, I want to say let's do adaptive bureaucracy. Sounds like a good idea to me. The progress we make calls for new, nimbler forms of administration that may aid rather than hinder us in our pursuits. Beautiful. I'll take it. Alright. Continue onwards. And... Construction ship... What did I do with it? Anomaly found. Ooh. Ancient survey marker. A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Merope 1. Merope? Merope. Merope. Let's go with Merope 1. It appears to be an ancient si uh, survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. Fuck yeah! There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this inhospitable rock. Let's do it. I'm kind of... Anomaly found. Oops, another one. Jesus Christ. On Merope 3, massive storms are visible in the upper atmosphere of this gas giant. It might be worth the effort to study them in more detail. Alright, let's do it. That one's being... Research, that one's being researched. Cool. Alright. I'll just wait on uh, Merope to be uh, fully analyzed. Because the strength of that star, the Class G star there, is very good in bringing more power to my uh, empire. That's not to say Chort isn't good as well. Hmm. Alrighty. Huh. The very geological structure of Regor 7 is indeed in flux, driven by what science officer Sir Nigel Pemberton II assures us is a tectonic process that is fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the Empire of Thelenae is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. Sir Nigel Pemberton II, every time I read that name it makes me laugh, estimates that an additional 200 credit 
planets would be needed to power through a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine the validity of what the science officer has termed a surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. Yeah, let's do it. It's a 50% chance of success. And all I lose is 200 credits. Let's do it. Oh. Failed. The crew of the ISS Wanderer are disappointed to report that the window of opportunity for terraforming has closed, despite their best efforts to, to identify it in time. Another opportunity is unlikely to arise for another few centuries. Son of a bitch! Fuck! Alright, well. Merope 3 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching speeds in excess of 700 meters per second. Wow. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, as we have found nothing in the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Sounds good to me. You can do that. Ooh. I can build another building. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Uh, the civilian industries. I desperately need more intake on that. Uh, come on. Get faster. <laughs> Scan it faster, please. God damn it. I just noticed that they're both scanning the same fucking system. God damn it. It's not what I wanted you to do. System reconnaissance completed. All right. System reconnaissance Perfect. completed. And Sir Nigel Pemberton the second has leveled up. Ooh. Awesome. And we can finish up this tree. Research station output increased by 10%. Fuck yeah. Ascension perks. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, one vision, transcendent learning. Transcendent learning in the long run is not helpful. Um, Ascension perks you really should be thinking about long-term good shit for your empire. Imperial prerogative. Ah, I've never seen any use to that. Um... Technological ascendancy would be nice. It would definitely help with research for sure. Technologies that would have been indistinguishable from magic mere generations ago are now within our reach. A new age of technology has begun. But I would prefer, honestly, to go under one vision, which would just increase the amount of unity I'm bringing in on top of reducing the amenities usage and governing ethics attraction goes way the fuck up, which means everyone's on board with what I'm doing. True yen... yen <laughs> Fucking hell, mouth. Work with me here. True unity is achieved only when the ultimate goals of a nation and its people are one and the same. After all, a house divided against itself cannot stand. What the... Hide unavailable. Okay, cool. That's good. Didn't know that that was an option I had, but I do know now. Alrighty. And that is... Hades. And Hades has a continental world! A continental world with 20 district slots. Hell yeah. <gasps> and it has dust caverns and bubbling swamps. And only two dense jungles and one toxic kelp. <laughs> but its generator, mining, and agriculture districts are low. It'll be mainly a city place, if nothing else. Okay. I could work with that. I could work with that. And with that in mind, building a starbase here to then expand it to Hades. Once that's all said and done. Aww. As soon as I was going, ooh, planet! That's when I found out it's not a good planet. Roshan 3 is an arid world. Okay. Fair enough. Ow. 
Map the Star's Edict. I need you back. Haha. -ha. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was about to say, I could do these now. And then I looked at how many energy credits I have, and I'm like, no, no, I cannot. Um... I can't do any of these because I have none of those. Alright, so I just need to wait on the construction ship to build that starbase, and then I'm good. Then I can start building uh, more useful things, like research stations and whatnot. Construction complete. Beautiful. The planet has built that uh, thing I asked for. Right. Anomaly found. Ooh. Optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Hades 5 that could be buildings. Alright. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Um... Oh, geez. Let's build a generator district before we're in trouble. Oh, we're already in trouble. Okay, well... Hopefully that gets fixed soon. Construction so. complete. Okay. And we build the mining stations and then the research Anomaly station. Anomaly found. Backscattering spectrum... Rather, spectrometry. Spectrometry. That's a fucking word. Backscattering spectrometry sensors indicate the presence of valuable substances beneath Roshan B... Oh, because it has multiple stars. Roshan B, three A's, Noxious Cloud. That is a fucking mouthful and a half. Alright. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, I just realized that's paused. I'm an idiot. I was looking at my readings on my preview window. Okay. Scientist. Scientist. Alright. Alright. So far, so good. No real reason to complain yet. Ooh. Roshan B3A is exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are, unfortunately, of no use to us. However, Science Officer Sir Nigel Pemberton II, of course, believes that many elements in the crust of Roshan B3As can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bombardment. The ISS Wanderer has requested that the Empire Felony set aside 100 energy credits for the purposes of this project. <sighs> you always want to spend my money, Pemberton, but... Fine. New sit rep. And we go up. Uh, positron bombardment. Uh, where are you at? There we go. You fix that. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want you to do that first. And then get back to that. Son of a bitch. Do the thing. And then do this. There we go. All right. I got it sorted out in the end. <laughs> All right. And... Special project complete. Ha-ha! <laughs> For one success. The crew of the ISS Wanderer are pre a priest. pleased to report that the experiment was a success and the significant number of dense mineral veins on Roshan B3A has been transmuted into usable resources. Hell yeah. Oh, and this, this star also. Actually, both stars. Oh, wait, no, it's just... The star itself is very useful. Science division reports oh, a new Roshan B is actually a brown dwarf. Huh. Substellar objects that lack the mass to sustain hydrogen fusion... Roughly the size of large gas giants, they have a much greater density. Their low luminosity and comparatively small heat generation means that planets orbiting them are unlikely to sustain life. Fair enough. 
but uh, Roshan A makes up for that, being a young, white, bluish-white main sequence star. Hell yeah. Alrighty. Powered exoskeletons are completed. Now, what should I move on to next? Nanomechanics? I don't need to up uh, mineral production yet. Going with nanomechanics might be a good idea. Advanced instrumentation allows for the study and practical application of physical systems at nanometric scales. I like it. Let's do it. Alright, and eventually we'll have to expand complete. that one for sure. Uh, unless it's easily cut off. If my empire has made it so I don't need to worry about incursions from there, then I don't really need to worry too much about expanding over there. At least not yet. Hmm. Burpee. Sorry. <laughs> that was my, uh... That was my breakfast coming up. Okay. System mm. reconnaissance completed. Hmm. Ancient Cybrex base. The hostile and unforgiving world of Regor 3, rather, Regor 8A, was home to what once appears to have been a large Cybrex base. Nothing remains of it now, aside from scattered debris and a large crater. We will have to investigate the site of the base more closely if we are to learn more. Interesting. New sit rep. Well, since that's the ship in orbit currently. What do you mean it's already been researched? Bullshit, it hasn't been researched. Research it now. And then do that. Well, after you start, anyway. This is the... Oh, there's multiple. Oh! There's multiple just in Regor itself. Makes sense. Alright, well. Oopsie doodle. That's not what I wanted. And then... Oops, that's not what I wanted either. Whoops! <laughs> I hit a button and then thought I didn't... Oopsie doodle. Survey completed. Through our surveys of habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved, and our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Felon Day. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid the continuous search of strange life forms. Excellent. Okay, now that's the one I want. And then after that, Construction I'll get complete. It started on automatic exploration. Beautiful. Let's get you back to the star system. Back to the shipyard with you. So far, so good. I do apologize for the clicking of my controller. Science Unfortunately, division reports a lot of this controls the... A lot of this is controlled by the D-pad, which clicks a lot. Not much I can do on that front. I apologize. But, adaptive bureaucracy has now been finished. So, what do we move on to next? I say genome mapping, because I don't necessarily need ground ground defense planning yet but it would be nice I'll admit mm, nah. let's skip that for now genome mapping it is mapping the genome of an individual through the sequencing of their DNA opens up for tailored medical treatments and therapies and it puts us down the biological path hell yeah let's do it Huh. Forgot that Discovery Traditions increases the uh, research speed by 10%. So, eventually, a lot of these will be done. 
very quickly. System reconnaissance completed. Hey, nice. Archaeological project completed. Evidence has been found indicating that the Cybrex were mining helium-3 from Rhaegar-5, using their orbital complex to refine the gas before distributing it as fuel to their roving space fleets. Interestingly, the energy signature of the antimatter weapon that destroyed the facility is distinctly Cybrex in origin. Why would they destroy their own refinery? An interesting find. Hmm. Very interesting. That's very interesting. All right, well. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, there we go. Unusual tectonics. What the ISS Diligent found on Hades 5 were not buildings, but surprisingly regular mineral outcroppings. Words are hard. Science officer Yu Cheng asserts that these angular blocks of rock are products of interactions between tectonic plates. Their shapes, the result of the unusual technophysics, tectonic, tectonophysics, fucking words, man. <laughs> these words are too big for my fucking mouth. <sighs> uh, there's a joke there, but I'm not going to make it. <laughs> tectonophysics inherent in the planet's crust the perfect angularity of these thru thrust faults okay implies a possibility of aliens tampering with hadas 5's crust at some point in the past most intriguing and the administrative ai is completed now what do we move on to quantum theory exploring the mediation of fundamental forces through subatomic particles let's do it all right and we continue ever onward i just noticed that our empire sprawl is actually not that big oh it's multiplied by 115 percent due to 92 empire system empire reconnaissance cohesion. completed what? why is my empire cohesion so low the fact the fuck? Alright, well, well, I call shenanigans, but whatever. Okay. And now that's working on that, I can set it up for that and don't have to worry. Booyah. Okay. So far, so good. Now I just need to wait for other things to pop up, which they Special will probably project all at once. Complete. There we go. Archaeological project completed. We have found debris on Rigor 8A. I almost said wrong one again. Rigor 8A from a large ship that does not appear to have been of Cybrex origin in the crater that once that was once the site of their base. Okay. Our, archaeolo our archaeologists... Blah, blah, blah. Our archaeologists speculate that the ship belonged to one of the organic civilizations under Cybrex attack. If so, it may have been sent to collide with the base on some kind of suicide run. No other explanation for the destruction of the base has been found. An interesting find. Already. And we continue ever onward. Mm. Nah, I don't need to sell them. Not yet. Anomaly found. Ooh. Sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Salax 6A's frozen surface. Or rather, Salax. Salax would probably be better. Um... That's yeah, routine. Screw it. We'll go with that. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's check scientists now. Oh, I can grab one more, but all the ones that are available are not exactly the best. Anna Mueller. Hmm. Might bring them on later. 
a admiral. Hmm. Ship weapons range plus 20%. I kind of like that idea. Mira Upadhyay. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that name. Salty. Hmm. Science ship ISS Diligent came up short with regards to its original mission of investigating possible activity on the frozen surface of Salix 6A. There is seemingly nothing of note but ice and rock. However, Science Officer Yu Cheng, a self-proclaimed gourmet chef and history buff, okay, claims to have made an important discovery, a chemical compound found in the surface ice layers in several regions of Salix 6A is allegedly, supposedly, closely related to Fellinian stellar salt, an ingredient integral to many traditional Fellinian dishes and thought extinct on Felin Day. Ah. It has long been speculated that Fellinian stellar salt was never native to our homeworld, but was brought to the surface by some meteorite impacts in the distant past. The science officer's discovery on Salix 6A lends some credence to this theory. Though Yu Chang leans heavily on properties described in ancient cookbooks predating modern chemistry to prove the saline connection. Whether the salt, analyzed and synthesized, actually tastes like the Fellinian stellar salt of old, I can't talk anymore, is ultimately of little consequence. Just the idea of traditional foods now possessing more historically accurate flavor profiles is bound to stimulate both the Fellinian economy and palate. Nice. Fuck yeah. I like the sound of that. Anomaly found. Ooh, shit. Science ship Wayfarer has encountered a hostile alien vessels and fleet in Demo Deomia, Deomia, and is currently attempting to evade them. Encounter in Deomia. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in Deomia system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Interesting. The Empire of Felinae has finally encountered wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Felon Day following the report of our contact fleet can best be described as rapturous. Intriguing. Our sensors indicate odd irregularities in Ivex... Ivexus? I guess that's how you pronounce it. Ivexus A's energy emission pattern. Okay, we'll look into that. But first, look into this. Oh, boy. What do we got here? Whoop. That's not what I wanted. You stop that. You returned their fleet. I didn't want that. What I wanted to do was look at these. Huh. They look robotic almost. Is what I think they are. Are they what I think I that they are? I don't know. Oh, oh, that's a big alien space station. That's a big one. Jeebus. Well, let's get my ship out of there before trouble happens. Alright. Well. Let's, uh, let's get that looked at, shall we? Need to learn more about the mysterious aliens we have codenamed Alpha Aliens. If they possess a language, we must decipher it and establish communications. Let's look into them. And evading hostiles... Okay, what is it doing then? After that. After it's done evading. Oh, come on. Go over here. You doofus. Wants to go to the same spot that the other fucking ship is at. On the Vexus. Alright. Well. Oh. Hmm. 
star patterns. The latest sensory readings from Ivexis A show the star pulsating regularly, but when the crew on ISS Wanderer arrived on site, there was no evidence to support this data. Huh. While most of the crew are in agreement that the anomaly was caused by a sensory malfunction, Science Officer Sir Nigel Pemberton II discards this theory. Sir Nigel Pemberton II claims to have discovered similar pulsating energy emission patterns elsewhere, and now fears that something strange is happening to the galaxy's stars. They have charted the course to the nearest affected star. Huh. I could just call it off as a malfunction for them, since Pemberton seems to want to have a uh, hunting down of whatever's going on. Or I could actually entertain his theories and let him look into it. We must get to the bottom of this. We'll see what's going on. In the meantime, after he's done with that, I'll have him... It was Chort that had that? Okay. I'm assuming that's what it was. System I'll reconnaissance completed. It. Sounds good to me. Okay, but we'll find out what's going on there in the next episode. Ah, cliffhangers. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and still expanding our empire as usual. But we're looking into some crazy shit going on, including... An enemy up in Diomia that we do not recognize. And checking out what the fuck's going on with these stars that are apparently pulsate, pulsating weirdly. Pulsating. I can't talk. I, I also learned that I can't fucking speak English anymore. <laughs> oh well. For you. <laughs>